Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here. Welcome back to Faster Than Light Thought Diary. Today's little thing is going to be about meditation. I'm going to start it off, shall we? So, meditating. I want to make sure, though, while I try to suffer and struggle through figuring out how to tell it to you, what I'm trying to avoid in the whole meditation aspect is almost the spiritual level of it. A lot of people will talk about how it's connected to religion and spiritual experiences and almost mystical powers that some people seem to develop by meditating. And, you know, in my experience, like, anybody who's ever had a religious friend, um, whether you're a Christian yourself or you're an atheist or agnostic or you are Hindu, whatever your beliefs are, if you've ever had a friend who is very religious, or a person, or acquaintance, and they tell you a life experience with their god or gods that's different from yours, there's kind of an uncomfortable oddity that comes from it. Uh, it's kind of that level of like, well, that's not really what I believe, and I don't really think you're experiencing that. I think you're just a little crazy-ish, I, I don't know. Like, because it's hard to really relate to that. If you, if you pray, and you feel God's love, and someone tells you about God's love, then you totally get it. But if you pray and you feel God's love and you tell that to an atheist who doesn't think there is a God, they're like, eh, it's not exactly, I don't know what you're feeling, man. Like, I just don't know it. Meditation often gets that kind of style and name to it where people are like, it's this mystical experience. I want to remove that kind of conversation. I want to go straight to not necessarily the science thing either. Uh, and there's a reason for that. And that's based off of the fact that in science, let's take exercise, for example. Okay, before we go to the store, we're gonna go over here to distress and see if we can wrap around. So instead of doing the sciency direction of it, let's um hold on, I'm gonna take a moment. You find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Send your crew. Dock and try to rescue. Leave. Send your rock member in. Rockman! Boom. Tears through the air left directly into the fire. You've never seen someone that large move that fast. It disperses at as much fire suppression as possible into the heart of the blaze and eventually the fire starts to die. Contact the survivors. Boom! With most of the fire under control, the scientists are able to help secure the station. They offer you their sincere gratitude and generous reward. Well, well, well. Battery charger. What's this exactly? Huh. Battery back... Backup batteries lock time is halved. I think you can get a backup battery. It's like a thing you can buy. Interesting. Well, that's just going to get sold at this store. Assuming that we can get to the store. That'd be nice, eh? Alright, we got a fight going. Boop, boop. So we'll take a moment to fire the lasers. Alright, we got a burst fire and a whole beam going. Oh, interesting. Let's pull from the med bay and pull more power here. Oh, I get it. I haven't done that. I haven't, like... Alright, I, I see what's going down. I see. I see. I haven't played this in a little while, so I got a little forgetful. There we go. There we go. I, I, I got to, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I got gotcha. you. Boom. Alright. As we fire the lasers, I'm going to move on to what I mean about meditation and exercise scientifically. So everybody knows exercise is really beneficial for you, you know? Um, uh oh, I didn't mean to accidentally pull dual lasers off the shield. Boop. Everybody knows that exercise is really beneficial for you. That it's it will make you a healthier, happier person in general. However, it's so hard to get people to exercise if they don't normally exercise. And the reason why is just very simple. Like, it's just difficult to get yourself up and to do it. Like, any new habit is hard to get going. And even though you have all the science of why it's good and everything, it's just really hard in general. Oh man, it didn't go through, did it? Oh, come on, one more. We need one more bomb shield that really hit. Good. Okay. We'll remove this. And then we're gonna fire the dual lasers. Cool. We're gonna take this off and we're gonna turn to burst laser and fire again into their weapon system. How are we doing? All right. Magmar. Mag what? Well, suitably named for the moment. Magmar is fighting in the fire area. Keep it up, Magmar. He's losing health fast, though. Alright, Magmar, we're gonna take you and keep you safe. You're gonna handle this area for now, big guy. This is a fire in here. Alright, he's being killed. Cool. We can pull things away from the oxygen and return it to there. Very good. 
could. So we're gonna fight the fire and calm this. Engines, engines are very dead. That happens. Um, do we have a repair master? I don't know, but we'll put him in there. Um, so exercise is known to be good for you. It's great. Um, and in the same way, meditation has a list as long as my arm of the benefits that it can provide you. However, you find yourself in a position where it's like, it just, you have to sit down and damn do it. And it's hard to learn and it takes time and effort. And it's like, damn it. Like, just give me a, a moment to like, get this stuff kind of figured out. Um, so with that in mind, I want to tell you about my personal moment that I get joy out of meditating why i'm like oh it feels so good and why that actually like works for me okay hold on oh shit so if we go to this store we have to go back here and we're just going to be bolting from the red well, let's do it let's do it because we need we have got a lot of stuff and it's good to sell it all right here's the backup battery that we have the augmentation for uh right here so lock time is halved so how does this work Provides a 30 second power boost to your reactor. Interesting. I personally would prefer something like cloaking, honestly. Uh, I think that would be more fun. Uh, what's page two? It's got some weapons and it's got some dudes. So I'm a big believer in the teleportation of uh, like as an attack. We're gonna get rid of battery charger because I think that's super valuable. Okay, we have to buy that, that's for sure. Um, buy that, that's for sure fix everything i think we should buy one of these cats do anybody here who is able to fight well 20 percent faster recharge hold on let's compare them to some of our cats that we already have here ship crew massive evasion good shields good sh oh wow our guys have got smirt cool okay um yeah we're gonna buy one of these cats because these guys go super fast uh in fighting We'll get fleshy. We're buying fleshy. Nice. And uh, you'll be in our sensor room for now, big guy. Just because that's the only spot that we have for you. <laughs> that's why. So, anywho, uh, where was I? Meditation, it's experience, uh, and personal level. So, if I'm having a stressful day, right? A day where, and when I talk about stressful day, I mean I have, there's projects at work. I need to go home to fix my sink. Uh, I have to go to the dentist. My mom's coming over, like, I have a lot of things going on that are taking my attention. Uh, approach the station. Of course. Clarsh. Why would I do anything else? Small bomb into the shield system. Pole beam. Actually, I bet it would be better to do dual lasers and then also a, a burst laser. A burst laser as well into this spot. I think that would be more powerful for targeting one sector of the ship. And I think that's what we need right now. Rather than focusing on a larger swath of stuff. So, okay. Looking good. Everything's ready to fire. Fire away. Fire the missiles! So, we have ourselves in a position where you want to meditate in, or at least in my case, I want to meditate. I want to have an opportunity to... Alright, shields are pretty fucking down. That's cool. Next to the weapon systems. So we're in this situation where it's like I'm having a rough day and all these things are going on I just want to go home and forget about everything Like I am not happy about just all these things that I have to do uh, And so in my response to that, you know, like I am not happy thinking about this I am tired of all this stuff and I'm waiting for a dual lasers to fire and then we're gonna remove them and return to whole beam because we don't have a shield to deal with so we find you know it's like so much stuff is going on in my brain i can't focus and hack the station manually you salvage what you can approach from the station is used to relay information to the rebel fleet give it a false number yeah we will oh darn it doesn't give us anything extra anyway fix it up people fix it up nice and good so you got yourself in this position where 
you, I sit down and I have everything going on around me and I'm like, all right, what, I, I'm just tired. I just, okay. And so when I meditate at that moment, all the things in my head suddenly almost like get values and priorities. Like where suddenly I go, okay, my mom's thing happens at this time. We'll take this amount of time. And it's this value priority to me. And this thing will happen. And this will take 10 minutes to do this project and get it started. And it will take these emails to be sent. And all of a sudden it creates like a calendar in my mind that lists out everything of what I need to do. That list really kind of helps me focus on, you know, what's the next step? What's the important things? Why does it matter? Should it matter? Should I even put my focus on it? And from there, I'm able to better get and understand. I'm like, okay, now I get that I need to do these five things first or this one thing first. And that's a really calming moment for me where all of a sudden it's no longer this stress to have to fight to get through and struggle. Rebel ship, says the captain. I have stuck with the Federation, but I'm a soldier, sir, and I'm no use without a war to fight. Raise your shields. Interesting. Interesting. Well, big guy, uh, we're going to do the drop the whole beam, dual lasers, everything into the shield system to begin, and then everything will go into the weapon system after. So... We, you know, we have that situation where it's, and everything just relaxes. Suddenly, I'm clear. Now, that just sounds the mystical part, but that's what's interesting is, like, what actually happens in the moment is, like, you sit down, and it's like you just have a piece of paper out, and you're just writing that shit down. Oh, wow, we just killed a shit ton of people like that. All right, we're going to pop these out, and uh, we're going to get four rooms with this laser. Boom! Was that? That's four rooms, yeah. Boom! Boom! Suffer the four room laser blast! Oh wow. <laughs> We're gonna run! Actually, please accept. We will not accept your surrender. Fire into their. <laughs> whatever it's called. Um, their thingy me jiggies? Their engines! That's what it's called. Boom, boom, boom! Dead! Problem solved. Man, we would have actually used those extra missiles pretty well. Um. <laughs> I think we should pop this up once we have a hundred, but we also need more power to keep focusing on the shields once we get there, so we'll just keep jumping around. Um, let's see, so I'm pretty confident, alright, yeah, I think this is the best bet, because this way we can at least pop back here if they get too close. Perfect. Perfect. Uh oh, we're in an asteroid field. Rebel on my prepare for the fight! Alright, uh, whole beam's off. Small. You guys see my strat? Always fire repeatedly into the shield systems, and so that once their shields are down, we can stop using our missile system and start using the other system that allows us to fire just lasers. Only lasers required in this boat. Blah! Anyways, so that mystical moment is really just like having a pen and paper out and taking a moment to yourself. Now, that's really, in a way, a nutshell, kind of the experience of meditating. Just that calm focus. And with that calm focus, you're able to accomplish things that you just normally wouldn't jump in to accomplish. Just that realization that, yeah, I'll get that shit done. I'm tired of doing this thing and this thing. But that's okay, because I can actually now focus on this thing. And that will make me just as complete and successful. Whatever that thing is. Sometimes it's as simple as just like giving you the opportunity to breathe a little bit after a long day. Or, um, oh, I can't check out my ship because we're in danger. But we're just going to fly around and gather some, you know, shield upgrades. And we're going to gather some dodge upgrades. Because uh, you get in bed and missed a big. Oh, you're already fully leveled up. Nice. What about um, Magmar? Oh, Magmar is also fully leveled up. Nice. What about, uh, what's this guy's name? Joe. <laughs> Happily named getting his shield up so anyway dudes that's kind of the benefit of meditating and going through that process it's this mystical talk about that people have in spiritual experiences you can have that in the same way if you believe in a god or gods you can get that same spiritual moment when you're with them or if you're you know if you're atheist and there's something else that does it for you that'll do it too meditation can do that for you the thing to keep in mind is that it's like exercise and the fact that it's not magic when you feel good. It's endorphins, or it's calm, or it's neuroneptides in your face, whatever. It's like a level of experience that's really just like a good night's sleep, or 
doing your favorite thing, but condensed into this one moment that then turns into whatever you typically have a hard time doing. For me, it was just lining things up to get it done. For you, it might be confidence, or it might be ability to go to sleep, or it may be something completely different where you're just patient with somebody who's normally super annoying to you. It can be really anything. Uh, that, I guess, sounds kind of mystical, but my point being that it's not bad. Give it a shot. Let me guys. Oh, let me guys. Let me know down below if you want to see more and hear more about meditation or my experience with it, or if you want a video that even just says this is how you do it, because it's pretty simple and can take practice and also can be just like that. So anyway, dudes, if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And of course, thank you guys for watching so much. It really helps me out. It's a total joy to be doing this. And I also appreciate you guys listening, because this has been a little bit of a therapeutic experience for me. So thank you very much. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet, the wind always be at your back, and the sun shine warmly in your sexy, sexy face. See you later, dudes. Bye! Woo!